channel I'm recording this intro like a month and a half after I actually filmed everything that you're about to see because one the intro that I made was kind of irrelevant now because it's been so long since I filmed this video and a lot of things have changed and two I filmed the original intro at like 11 p.m. or something and I was just saying nonsense so the video you're about to watch is the behind the scene process of me making 14 different style bundles I also tried my best to show you a wide variety of styles in this video so hopefully there's something that all of you will enjoy if you don't know what a style bundle is, basically you order a bundle on my website of how many pieces or outfits that you want and then you fill out a consultation form that tells me all of the information that I need from your sizes, your style preferences, your goals, if you're wearing it to an event, etc. Then I chat with all my clients on Instagram so we can exchange your Pinterest photos, you can tell me any other information, I can have a look at your Instagram if you are comfortable with that. And then I take all of that information and I try my best to put together outfits or an assortment of pieces that my client will love. Every single bundle is completely unique because I use thrifted and vintage clothing, which also makes my business a sustainable way to add new clothes to your wardrobe. I do just quickly want to say that my last bundle restock will be on June 8th, my birthday, and that'll probably be your last chance to buy a style bundle throughout the whole summer until early September, unless I randomly like sporadically throw a couple up on my website in like July. So definitely follow my Instagram, I'm always posting updates and countdowns and information about restocks on there. And my website is shopillusory.com, it's always linked in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, all that being said, we're going to jump into the video. The first part of this video is me making three style bundles on like a random Tuesday night or something like that. And then we pick up again the next day and I make 11 more bundles. So you're about to see the behind the scenes of me making 14 bundles. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so the first bundle that we're doing is a princess bundle, which is my two outfit bundle. It's actually one of my favorites to do. I feel like it's like just enough. She says, I love the granola girl style, semi grunge and strawberry shortcake, pink, white kind of vibe. I like to wear white, black, pink and green. Let's take a look at her Pinterest. So I'll put some of her pictures up on the screen so that you can see what the vibe is. Okay, so looking through her Pinterest photos, she has some slip dresses, some mini skirts, baby tees, oversized zip ups, and oversized jackets in general. A lot of oversized sweaters, so that's the first thing that I'm thinking of pulling for her. There are so many outfits on here with an oversized sweater and a mini skirt. So that's definitely what we're going to try to do. She has this one photo of like the strawberry shortcake light pink vibe that she was going for. So maybe I'll try to incorporate that, but most of the photos are nothing like that. So that's a little bit confusing when people just throw in like something random. Okay, let's see what we can pull for her. Okay, I pulled some pieces for her. I'm just going to measure them to see what works and what doesn't. Okay, I think that this is the bundle and I really like it. So for this outfit, I wanted to do the darker colors, the grungier vibe with the oversized sweater and mini skirt. This mini skirt is so perfect. It has these two slits in the front and this sweater is just to die for and I think she'll absolutely love it. I saw a couple of slip dresses on her Pinterest board and I think this one is absolutely stunning with the black and white lace. And it is a little bit short, which is why it's perfect that this mini skirt is in the bundle because she can wear it over top of the skirt and the slits will be perfect and it's just going to be so cute. Then for the strawberry shortcake side of things, I wanted to go with this adorable little Y2K mini skirt. I'm giving her this really cute little Miss Princess rhinestone top. And just in case this one isn't her vibe, I am definitely positive that she will love this slip tank. And that is the first finished bundle. Okay, so this client wants a vintage rock grunge hippie style. She likes jackets and vests, and the only thing that she said she doesn't really want are like super cropped crop tops because she doesn't like a lot of her stomach showing. I'll put her info pics right here as I'm brainstorming what I want to give to her because I have a lot of ideas for this one. Okay, I love this bundle so much. Obviously, I had to give her this jacket because duh. I'm a very color oriented stylist, so I like to pull out every color when there's a pattern like this. So we have black, this cream color, and then some red and like a deeper purpley red. So I did the black vest over top of this cream button down. I think this silhouette will look so cute with the collar peeking out at the top and then the rest of the button up kind of coming out at the bottom with the oversized jacket on top and then this mini skirt to tie in all of the colors. 
It has the cream contrast stitch. It has a raw hem. It's a deep purpley red color, which perfectly matches this stitching. I love it. This is my baby. All right, this is the last bundle that I'm gonna do before I go to bed because it's past midnight now. This one's a queen bundle, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer. The queen bundle is three outfits. I don't know if I said that. She said she likes tiered skirts, short dresses, corduroy. She wants a cottagecore indie hippie vibe. She doesn't like super bright colors. She doesn't like corset tops. She doesn't like low rise. So I'm looking at her Pinterest board and she has a lot of florals. She has a lot of mini and midi skirts. She has a lot of sweaters and cardigans. A lot of cute little lacy tanks or like lacy tees. Definitely will be giving her some sort of skirt, probably floral skirt or a tiered skirt. And then maybe a dress if I have one in her size. Okay, this is the bundle. I love it. The only thing that I need to add is an accessory of sorts because I feel like this outfit is a little bit plain. I knew I wanted to give her this amazing top with this lace detail from Free People. And she had a lot of outfits on her Pinterest board with like a cute little dainty top like this and then some cut off shorts. So I have these in her size. I definitely wanted to give her some corduroy because she said specifically that she likes corduroy. And I have these amazing burnt orange corduroy pants that are actually also from Free People. So she is getting blessed in this bundle. I paired them with this amazing little floral top. And then for the final outfit, I wanted to do a dress, but I also wanted to do a sweater outfit. And I was like, wait, why don't I just combine the two? So she can wear this dress on its own, obviously in the spring and summer. And then when it gets cooler outside, she can layer this sweater over top. I'm gonna try to go find an accessory that'll work with this bundle and I will be right back. I decided on this circle necklace with these little colorful beads because I think it'll match this outfit really well and it'll also match the colors perfectly in this top. So that is our third and final bundle of the night. I'm gonna go to bed, but I will see you tomorrow morning and we will continue the styling process. Good morning, guys, it's day two. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready to make some fire bundles today. So I guess let's just jump right in. My goal today is to make 10 bundles, which might be a lot, but I think I can do it. The first one of the day is gonna be a mix and match bundle. I'm gonna start off small and then I'll work my way up. Okay, so this client said she wants patterned pants, dresses, neutrals, cottagecore meets academia style. She doesn't like crop tops, skinny jeans, and she's allergic to wool. Cool, okay, let's look at her Pinterest board. I'm definitely seeing the neutral color palette. I'm seeing a lot of high-waisted pants and skirts, turtlenecks, button-down shirts. She did say she likes dresses, which I'm not seeing at all on the Pinterest board, so I might not do a dress because I'm not sure really what she would want from a dress. Okay, let's see what I have. Okay, I played around with a couple of options, but I think that this is what I've landed on. So again, this is a mix and match bundle, so these pieces aren't supposed to necessarily go with each other. The first thing that I grabbed for her is this amazing 100% silk button-down top. I saw a ton of skirts like this in her Pinterest board, so I had to give her this one. I'm giving her this really cool color-blocked sweater that's 100% cotton so that she can still get the sweater look that she's going for, but not have to worry about being allergic to the fabric. And lastly, I went with these dark wash Ralph Lauren jeans because I think the silhouette will be really flattering on her. Okay, so this next order is also a mix and match bundle. She said she likes baby tees, green, pink, and brown. She likes oversized shirts, she likes fun patterns. And on her Pinterest board, I see a lot of like floral summer dresses, a lot of midi skirts and high rise shorts. I see a lot of green. Okay, I'm just gonna pull a ton of pieces and then we'll see what I have. Here's what I've pulled so far. I'm definitely doing this dress. It has like these double straps and it's like mesh. It's really pretty. Wait, no way. I did not know that it was this brand. Oh my God. I didn't know that I've ever thrifted Copco Pine or however you say it. What? What? I've had this in my inventory for like a bajillion years. Okay, so I'm definitely still giving her this dress, but everything from that brand sells for like hundreds of dollars. So I am really blessing this girl right now. But anyways, let me show you the rest of what I'm deciding on. So I have two options for shorts. I have these pink corduroy ones, and then I have these green longer ones. I think I'm leaning towards the pink ones because I think that they'll fit her really nice. 
So we're not gonna do the green ones. Now, I definitely think I wanna do this baby tee for her because she said she does really like baby tees. I might also throw that in and then I think I definitely wanna do these jeans with this raw hem at the bottom. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do all five of those pieces and I'm still so excited about this. That is insane. All right, the next one is a classic bundle, which is one outfit. And this one is a plus size bundle. So in case you're curious about how I pull together looks for my plus size clients. She said she likes mini skirts, a model off duty vibe. She had a lot of cargo pants on her Pinterest board. She doesn't want any maxi skirts, dresses with ruffles or the color yellow. And then on her form here, she said, I love wearing greens, browns, reds, and blues. I like the whole grunge fairy plus 90s runway fashion vibe. This is an example of why the Pinterest board is super important because I'm not getting the grunge fairy vibe in her board like at all. It's kind of more of a 90s streetwear model off duty type of vibe with some like grungy hippie elements. That's the best way I could describe this. I definitely want to see if I have any like baggy jeans or baggy cargo pants for her. Okay, this one was a little bit tricky because I just had so much that I wanted to do and narrowing it down was a little bit tricky as you can see because she did only get one outfit. So I wanted to make sure that there was at least like one solid outfit in here. So let's jump into it. She had a lot of tan colored cargos on her Pinterest board. And then she also said that she likes mini skirts. So I thought this would be the perfect combo. I feel like this DKNY jeans baby tee is perfect with the cargo skirt. I threw in this little necklace, which is like half of a yin yang symbol with a little flower there. And then she had a lot of 90s streetwear and like oversized baggy outfits on her Pinterest. So I found these amazing contrast stitch corduroy jeans. And just to make sure the bundle is really solid, I gave her this oversized sweater that I know she'll love because she had a bunch of these on her Pinterest. So there it is all together. Some people are so aggressive on the form and it's so funny. This girl just says, do not give me yellow. I won't, queen, don't worry. Anyways, this client ordered three outfits. She wants a city girl vibe. She loves green. She mentioned that she likes sweaters and sweatshirts, mini skirts and coats. She does not like skinny jeans, shoulder pads, or the color yellow. I'll put up her Pinterest photos for you. It's definitely that city girl vibe, which is pretty straightforward. This one might be the best one of the day so far. Actually, it definitely is because look at this jacket. So this jacket is from my personal wardrobe and it was really expensive, but it's really tight on me because I'm like a size small now and no longer an extra small. But this client is an extra small and she literally had like this exact jacket on her Pinterest board. So I feel like it's fate. I'm like a little bit crying that I'm letting it go, but I cannot hold on to clothes that don't fit me, okay? Anyways, this is definitely my favorite outfit. I did a little slip tank and this skirt from Brandy Melville. The red stripe on the skirt ties in perfectly with the jacket. And I included this little white handbag for her. And she can also wear the handbag with this outfit, which I feel like is perfect for her vibe. This little gray wrap skirt. This really interesting like v-neck collared long sleeve that I love. It even has these little white buttons on the sleeves. And lastly, she said she likes oversized sweaters. So I got her this one and I paired it with some cream colored jeans. I love this bundle. I would absolutely wear all of these outfits. Okay, this is a classic bundle, so it's just one outfit. She said she likes grandpa sweaters, the color green and earthy tones in general. She likes crop tops and baggy t-shirts. Overall, she wants like a Y2K grunge or grunge fairy type of vibe. She does not like any type of skirts and she does not want plaid pants. She didn't send me a Pinterest board, but she did send me this video of just like a bunch of different clothes i have a couple ideas let me get to pulling pieces all right i think we did it i definitely wanted to give her some mid-rise bootcut jeans because i saw a lot of those in that video and these have some really cool like distressing and cool stitching and then i definitely wanted to give her an oversized grandpa sweater so i went with this one because i thought it would pair nicely with the jeans and then for the warmer months coming up i wanted to add in another option which is this tank top that has this really cool lace detailing in the center and to top off the bundle and go with either the sweater or the tank top and the jeans i added this really cute messenger bag here's all the bundles that we've made so far between last night and this morning I am super happy with how this batch turned out. I'm gonna take a little break now, and then when I come back, we'll probably make about five more bundles. My hair has entered the Founding Father's ponytail stage. That's how you know that we're about to get to business. This client said she wants baggy jeans, dark colors, she likes crop tops. 
The overall vibe is black and edgy with a pop of color here and there. She doesn't want glitter, she doesn't want strapless, and she does not like pink. Lots of crop tops, lots of dark graphics, mini skirts, chain details. Oh, she's getting ready to jump. Here she is. Hi. Okay, I think I did it. I was just literally like working away over here for so long, but I think I nailed it. Okay, so this is where I started. I thought it would be really cute to give her this hard rock crop tank. And she could totally wear it by itself, but I did want to give her the option to layer this mesh tank underneath. You can't really tell how like thin and meshy it is, but it's really cute. And then since that's black on black, I didn't want to do a black bottom for this outfit. So I went with these True Religion jeans that I'm obsessed with. For outfit number two, I did this Harley Davidson sweatshirt that I love. She had so many of this exact skirt on her Pinterest board, I felt like, so I had to give her that. And then this little messenger bag, I felt like tied it all together. Okay, so then for the last look, I wanted to do with these baggy jeans. They're like really baggy and really long. I love them. And I knew I wanted to give her this like crochet. Is this crochet? I still have no idea. But this really long, like witchy, vampy cardigan. And then she can either go with the cropped lacy black tank option or the not cropped lacy black tank option. And that is another finished bundle. All right, the next order that we're doing is another mix and match bundle. They want a grunge alternative streetwear skater type vibe, which you can definitely see in their Pinterest photos when I put that up. They don't want anything feminine or yellow. Okay, so here's what I pulled for this bundle. Oh, and now Wanda's going to inspect it, which is awesome, because then I'll have to lint roll everything down. Thank you so much, Queen. Anyways, I definitely wanted to give them these cargo pants. And then their Pinterest had a lot of crew necks and just sweatshirts in general. And I thought that this champion one would be so perfect. They also had some fun, playful graphic tees like this one. I'm not exactly sure what this is a graphic of, but I really like it. I also thought that they would die over this flannel, so I added this as well. And lastly, we did some straight leg Karmar jeans with this really cool detail. All right, we've got three bundles left. The one that I'm doing next is another queen bundle, another three outfits. Okay, so this client says she likes neutrals. She likes a coquette style. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what she meant to say because looking at her Pinterest board, it's definitely leaning more towards fairy grunge and like a little bit of coquette or however you say it with like lacy and frilly tops, but not in the like girly way that I feel like is usually represented in the coquette style. But anyways, I'm just gonna go off of what I see on her Pinterest board and not necessarily like what she classifies the style as, just in case. She says she likes long sleeves and she likes tops that aren't too cropped. And then she doesn't want bright colors or super small mini skirts. Okay, so sometimes this happens where I have like some really solid bottom options, some really solid top options, but there's no like standout cohesive outfits that I see. You know what I'm saying? Like I put this skirt here with this top because I think it would be really cute to kind of wear this longer brown top over top of the top of the skirt and then have the like raw hem peeking out at the bottom. Like I think that's a really cute outfit, but it's just two pieces, you know? And then I put these jeans over here because I think they will be a really flattering silhouette paired with this mock neck baby tee but I also think that they would look cute with this top. And I think that these jeans would look really cute with this tank, and I think that these jeans would look really cute with that shirt. So I feel like since we have four really solid tops and three really solid bottoms, that that's kind of all that this bundle needs. And I think I'll just tell her exactly what I said to you just now with like all of the different combinations that she could make, and I feel like that's honestly better than just three outfits that you can't really interchange and mix around because this almost acts as like a capsule wardrobe. I do think this is a really solid bundle and I really like it a lot and I think she'll love every single piece, fingers crossed. So that's another one done. Someone's in my seat. <laughs> She's so precious, I just love her so much. Okay, so for this bundle, it's another mix and match bundle, which are my favorites to do. So we've had a lot of those today, which is pretty exciting. She said she likes skirts, retro, cool jackets, 90s style. She said she does not want pants or tight long sleeves or cheesy t-shirts. So I'm looking at her Pinterest and there's definitely a lot of different styles going on. I definitely see the 90s inspo. Fortunately, every single outfit on here either has a dress or a skirt. 
which is great because sometimes when people say that they don't want something, but then their Pinterest board is full of that thing, like pants, for example, in this um, bundle, like if her Pinterest board was full of pants, then I would be like, I don't know what to do. She has a lot of plaid mini skirts, a lot of slip dresses. There's some like 90s grunge outfits, but there's also some Y2K grunge elements too. Guys, I hope you're as obsessed with this bundle as I am because I'm literally freaking out over all of these pieces. The first thing I pulled for her is this amazing 90s Tommy Hilfiger velvet top. And even though this is a mix and match bundle, this skirt just ended up matching this top perfectly with the red stripe. I feel like it's hard to tell on camera how cool this skirt is, but it's an amazing 90s era midi skirt. And then as you saw, she had a bunch of pleated skirts on her board, so I wanted to give her one of those as well. And lastly, this amazing slip dress with the mesh paneling and the floral embroidered details. It's so cute. So yeah, I'm really happy about this one. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Okay, this bundle I'm really excited about because the inspo picks are so cute and I've been dying to use inventory in this size and this style. So she said she likes baggy jeans, sweaters, crop tops. She likes to wear brown and blue because it brings out her eyes. She doesn't want skinny jeans or animal print, which is not a problem. I don't usually buy either of those things. I'm seeing a lot of florals and a lot of lace on her Pinterest board. It's like kind of 90s inspired. There's some grunge elements, but mainly there's like really feminine, dainty pieces like floral midi skirts or mini skirts and lace trim tank tops. I have a lot to work with on this board and I have three outfits to make, so let's get to it. I know I sound like a broken record, but I really love this one too. This is the first outfit that I did and I just think that the colors go together so perfectly. This cardigan zips all the way up, which I think is a really unique touch. And then with this adorable pink and brown slip tank, it just goes perfect. And then I thought these light wash jeans just tie in the whole look. Then for outfit number two, I wanted to do this skirt that you can tie and cinch in the waist up here. And then I love this tank because she said she likes crop tops, but not too cropped. And this one has these amazing tie details on the sleeves that are so cute. And then for the third outfit, I started with this plaid midi skirt because she had a lot of this style of plaid on her Pinterest. I did this adorable little long sleeve top with the heart detail and this little suede tote bag. Okay, one more bundle and then I'm going to bed. It is 10 o'clock, 10.01. So this is a mix and match bundle. She likes graphic tees, mom jeans, fun pants, straight leg pants, crop tops. She likes to wear blue, red, and green. She likes short skirts. She does not want grandma tops, bohemian looks, or grunge looks. On the Pinterest board, I see a lot of plain pieces. I definitely see a mix of neutrals and also some bright colors. I probably do have some straight leg jeans that I can give her. And then I'll take a look at the skirts because there's a lot of skirts on here. She saved a lot of Emma Chamberlain's outfits that are like a funky little baby tee and then some straight leg jeans. Let's see what I can do. Okay, this is what I pulled together. I really like it, so let me show you. The first thing I grabbed is this white rib top with like these fluffy sleeves. Cause this was kind of giving me that elevated basics look that I was talking about. Like it's just a simple white shirt, but then you add the puff sleeves and it's like so cute. And then for the second top option, I wanted to do something completely different. And I'm like 100% sure that she'll love this because it immediately reminded me of the baby tees that Emma Chamberlain wears all the time. And then I did these jeans from Brandy Melville that will be an absolute staple in her wardrobe. And I did also find a pair of shorts that I think she'll love. These are from American Apparel and they're this super pretty light pink color. And then lastly, since she said she likes mini skirts, I wanted to give her this one from Urban Outfitters. That is the bundle and we are done. It has been a long day. We did 15 bundles in this video, I'm pretty sure. I always get so nervous sending them off and then waiting for my clients to get them. But I'm so unbelievably proud of every single bundle that we made today. Look how many we did, there's so many. It's so bittersweet sending off the bundles, but I can't wait for them to go to their new homes. I really hope you guys liked watching this video. If you did and you wanna give it a thumbs up or subscribe or leave a comment, I love reading my comments. My favorite thing to do is respond to your comments on literally any social media platform. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.